to Steve. Jews are known as the people of the book, and we're also known for our analytical Talmudic tradition. As the longtime president of GW, I wonder how you see Jewish thinking, how it's impacted academia and higher education and even teaching methods. And of course, Jews are also known for their value of education. Has this become part of American culture? Um, I, had a, I had a roommate. I had a roommate in law school um, who was a Methodist from, uh, from uh, Maine. And, uh, and I once brought him back to meet my parents in Brooklyn. And we stopped off at Mrs. Stahl's. And he looked at the sign. And he came in. He said to the guy, I, I'd like a potato niche. And, <laughs> and the man behind the counter laughed so hard. I was so embarrassed. We fled without getting anything to eat. <clears throat> We, we have become very uh, cavalier about uh, the role of Jews in, uh, in American a academia, uh, but I think it's largely a uh, contemporary phenomenon. Uh, it, it, I can assure you there weren't any Jews in, in 1636 when Henry Dunster founded, uh, founded Harvard. And indeed, if you take a look at the title of uh, Abraham Sacker's uh, biography, A Host, a Host at Last, uh, what he meant was, of course, that Jews had been guests in American universities for a long, long time until the founding of, of Harvard, uh, of Brandeis. I remember as a young uh, dean once having a conversation with somebody who said to me that I should abandon all ambition to become a, uh, a university uh, uh, president. It simply wasn't going to happen in this, uh, in this country. And I have lived to see, I just made a list, uh, uh, Jewish presidents at Harvard, Columbia, Yale, Princeton, Penn, Dartmouth and Cornell. I'm not certain about Brown, but I know about the others, and I could give you names, so, and, and many other American colleges and universities. Um, that seems to me uh, 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 quite remarkable. But more significantly than university administrators, who are, after all, bureaucrats and functionaries, not the real heart of universities, the professoriate has been uh, significantly Jewish for a long time. And a lot of those people, of course, were graduates, somebody said, of city of City College. One thinks of Felix Frankfurter as a prime example of a City College graduate who goes on to become a professor at Harvard Law School and, uh, and later a Supreme Court Justice. Uh, Jews have, uh, have um, brought uh, scholarship and, uh, and uh, values and tradition. But it's very interesting, because just as they have impacted on the universities, the uni universities have secularized them. And the percentage of um, orthodox or practicing uh, Jews in the academy, it seems to me, are very modest relative to the number of uh, people who are Jewish simply because their, uh, their mother and father preceded them in that particular uh, tradition. So I, I think the dynamic has been uh, quite extraordinary for, uh, for a long time, sufficiently so that I think many of the uh, values uh, of, uh, of the academy are, in fact, values uh, that uh, one could say were Jewish, having to do with argumentation and disputation and, uh, and uh, freedom of, uh, of thought, um, which um, uh, we can't give John Dewey complete credit for. Uh, <laughs> and even he, I think, was a little Jewish. Uh, <laughs> I read someplace he wanted to be Jewish. So. Thank you very much. <laughs>